guest is a hilarious comedian whose new series, Real Husbands of Hollywood, premieres January 15th on BET. Please welcome our friend Kevin Hart. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the show tonight where we all stand and doing? look at each other. What was that? What were you doing? What was, was I like... doing? I was just doing that. I was hearing a lot of music. I was excited. It's like I don't a, know. a weird pop up from a jack in the box. That's what it looked like to say. Like... <laughs> I like those things that inflate that are outside car dealerships. <laughs> Happy New Year, man. You Happy too. Happy New Year. Thanks New Year. for being here. Thank you for having me here. You know, we have a lot to talk about, and we're going to get to uh, your show in just a second. But okay. uh, good God, you have done uh, just so amazingly well in stand-up. You damn right I have. Yes. <laughs> you damn right. Yeah. Yeah. That you have reached, you have reached a level in stand-up I have not even heard of before, which is you have pyrotechnics. Yeah, I do. It's almost, it's almost rock and rollish. Yeah. Uh, see, here's the thing. Conan, I'll yeah. break it down to you like this. Yeah. Uh, as a stand-up comedian, you know, we're used to just coming out on stage. They introduce you and you walk out. Normally there's maybe a song or people clap. I said I need to do something different. So what I did was I went and got fire. Uh, yeah, no, you're laughing. I'm very serious. It's not you, a joke. This people. is real. Yeah. It's very real. Uh, smoke, fire, lasers. See, I saw Jay-Z and Kanye perform. And when they performed, I was like, yo, this show's amazing because they got fire. I need to get some fire. You need if I fire. get fire, this show will be amazing. So throughout my show, I have a bunch of pointless fire. Like, it has... has no, the, old, the best fire is pointless no, fire. No, literally, it has nothing to do with my show. Like, after a joke, people laugh, and I go, get fire. And it just, <laughs> it just has explosions Shooting from all of, over the place. You know, I gotta, let's just show this quick uh, clip very quickly. This is you just... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I have to say, yeah. Kevin, it looks... <laughs> It's not safe. It's not it, safe at all. I was going to say, it looks dangerous. <laughs> no, it's very dangerous. We don't even have fire marshals in the building. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's very illegal what we're doing. Very illegal. <laughs> That's good. Let's talk about that more on television. <laughs> uh, I want to ask you about something else. Uh, quite a different experience. You've, you, you've gotten into movies now. You're having a lot of success there. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you shot a remake of About Last Night. Yes, I did. And I'm told you had your first sex scene in this movie. It hasn't come out yet, but you have a first sex scene. Uh, first of all, thank you for dropping that bomb on America, because they needed to know. <laughs> Uh, this is my first sex scene, people. And, um, you know, it's what the people wanted. Uh, <laughs> it is, it is. People were curious, and, and they're going to get what they've been asking for. You know what? I want to take a second to uh, give a shout-out to my co-star, Regina Hall, because... Uh, oh, I it love was, Regina it was, Hall. No, yeah. Regina Hall, very, very funny female, man. Funny, very, very funny. funny. Who doesn't like Regina uh, Hall? You know, the, the, like you said, it's a, it's a remake of the original movie about last night, but Michael Ely, Joy Bryant, Regina Hall were all in it. And Regina, you know, this was tough. For her, because she, you know, she couldn't get through a lot of these takes because for her it was real, you know. Like it's, I'm acting, I'm acting. You're just doing like, the professional. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do scene, yeah. as an actor. But she's like, oh, I don't want to cut, and I'm like, you, you have to. It's the nature of the business, you know. Uh, but I don't blame her. I definitely don't blame her. I see why she was doing what she was doing. Uh, yeah, but uh, you know, guys, you're gonna see a piece of my butt. It's not. I didn't go full butt. It's just the top part of my butt crack. It's confusing. Because it, it looks like it could be a roach or my butt crack. It's, but it's something. It's definitely something. It's something. It's something. <laughs> Thank you for clearing yeah. that up. Yeah, no, I don't want you, you don't want like, that getting out there. Ew, yeah. Kev's got a roach in his butt. Yeah. No, it's not. That's Bad my butt. hygiene on that yeah. thing. He's <laughs> covered. Now, is this true, uh, Kevin? I'm trying to picture this. You drive a Segway yes, regularly in your life. Yes, yes, not I as a, like, Not as like some funny thing. You, you drive a Segway a lot of places. I do it to mess with the people in my neighborhood. Uh, I got a lot of older people. Uh, in my neighborhood who don't come outside that often. So when I'm riding, I stop and like freak them out. Like, hey. And they're like, what's that? And I'm like, it won't be out to 2017. You gotta have a lot of money. <laughs> it's specially <laughs> they built just breathe. Yeah, they just breathe in their gas mask. <laughs> and go outside. I, I low-key, I think I've killed two people in my neighborhood. Uh, <laughs> by just playing them with them, futuristic devices. But I'm a gadget freak, man. The Segway is amazing for me just because of the way you get around. It's two wheels. It's fun. Yeah. I'm a kid. Around. Yeah, uh, it kid. looks fun. I've never really, I did it, I tried, I had, I messed around with it nah, once. No, you definitely shouldn't do it. You're too tall. It would look stupid. Don't do it. <laughs> 
Well, it's stupid. It's not, it's not a tall tour. Now right? I'm going to do it. No, now, I'm serious. It's not a that's tall my personality. Tour. When you tell me you look stupid, now no, I have to do it. No, don't do it. I'm telling you. I'm going to get two, one for each leg, no. and ride both of them at the same time. <laughs> until I'm badly hurt. That's my promise to America. <laughs> now, speaking of things you shouldn't do, you've had some trouble keeping your driver's license. Is this not the case? We've uh, talked about this before, but you've had your driver's license taken away a few times because of some infractions. I swear to you, I, I cannot make this story up. I'm coming from, the, from court today. I went to court today. <laughs> like, like, no, I know, I know you're asking me a serious question. I swear to goodness, I was in court today renewing my driver's license again because it got suspended. I'm a speed demon. Okay? You're a speed demon. I'm a speed demon. I don't, I don't respect the law, and I don't feel like I have to because I'm, I'm a sex symbol. Now, when you, when you do this, when you officer, do this, officer, yeah. officer, you don't understand. Yeah, no, I'm no, a sex I, symbol. I feel like I'm supposed to go fast. Sexy yeah. people are supposed to drive fast. Yes, true. Uh, no, but, dude, I, I don't know why I cannot keep a license, man. It's the worst thing ever. But today in the, in the, uh, in the court, house like the the officer recognizes me and he's like hey I'm gonna get you out of here fast and he gets me to the front I literally tell a guy I say guilty I, I just want to pay it so that okay so they give me my paper so I can go pay it there's a long line of people paying it so I said you know what I'm gonna try to bribe the person in the front. I'm gonna say, look, uh, I'll pay your ticket if you just let me go in front of you, right? So my friend was like, no, don't do that. Let's just get one of the cops and see if they can just, you know, get you in front. I said, okay. The guy gets me in the front. Officer comes up, puts me in the front. It's a true story. One guy, it's always one guy in line, he yells out, why does he get to cut everybody? <laughs> And, and I'm standing there, right? I'm just right. standing there, and I happen to look, and everybody in line is Mexican. And I was like, it just, there's nothing I can say to not look racist. I was like, uh, I'm famous. And uh, <laughs> the guy, the guy, listen, that never listen, works. Listen, not, I'm only, famous. not only did it not work, not only did it not work, the guy says, listen, I've been here for an hour. You gotta open up another window, or he doesn't go. And some girl calls herself taken up from me, and it was like the worst defense case I've ever seen in my life. She was like, you need to understand that people like him make us happy. And this is our way to show him our appreciation. That's and, fantastic. No, it wasn't Someone fantastic. Came to she got booed. They were oh, booed. <laughs> <laughs> he got boo. 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 Wrong. When you have to tell people you're famous, it's, it's never the worst. good. It's never good. How <laughs> dare you? I'm famous. <laughs> we have to get to this. Real Husbands of Hollywood. This is kind of a fake reality show. It's the, it's the fakest, realest reality show that's going to be on television. That's the best way to describe it. For those who do not know, uh, I basically did a television show where I'm mocking reality. Mm -hmm. uh, when you think of TV shows with reality, you think of the Basketball Wives, you think of Housewives of Atlanta and yeah, Orange sure. County. Right. So everybody always talks about this. This stuff is mess. These women just fight and argue. So I said I want to make fun of it. So what I did was get a group of men who weren't afraid to make fun of ourselves. And we basically embellished our lives. Me, Nick Cannon, Boris Kojo, uh, Robin Thicke, Dwayne Martin, Faison Love, Nelly, a group of, a group of great people. JB Smooth, we're all on this show, and it's the most hilarious, frantic, I guess you could say, uh, outrageous behavior that you'll see from men. All right, we, we, we have a clip here. This is, I don't know if we need anything to set it up. Probably not. Real Husbands of Hollywood, should we just I roll set it? it up. It's a sexy clip. <laughs> so my snowboard hits a rock, Ooh. and then I go flying through the air. I hit a cabin. By the time I wake up, Mick Jagger is giving me hot shots. What no way? Spiked with <laughs> cognac, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh, Mick Jagger? How old is he now? What is he? Dead in the half? <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. Why don't we talk about how how outdated this hair is? Well, well come on, Kevin. Well, this is my friend. I kill There's him, no man. reason to keep disrespecting him like this. No, but don't, don't worry about it, Nelly. You know what? That's pretty funny, Kevin. You should do stand-up. Uh, you know I do stand-up. And you know I'm one of the best at it. Second best. Second best to who? Second best to me. You a damn liar. I'm the first best and you know it. Stole my pickle joke! I've been doing that pickle joke for years. Yes, my pickle joke first. Shut up, JB. Real yeah. Husbands of Hollywood premieres Tuesday at 10 on BET. Kevin, always great. Always a He's a good man. Kevin Hart, the Red Map ZZ Ward is here. Stick around.